Welcome. In this video, I'm taking a look at this Tiswall soldering station. This is RJ969. This was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video, and they're not reviewing this before I post it. If you're interested in this, I'll put a link in the description of this on Amazon. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. So this says it's 120 volts at 60 hertz, it's 65 watts, the output voltage is 26 volts AC, the temperature range is 392 to 896 F. Side says be bold, go forward. And that's it. On the back it says ESD, electrostatic discharge safe, FCC, some other things here. So I have a couple uh, soldering irons. I don't have like a precision soldering iron. I just have like a you know, a regular uh, wand when you plug in and it has set temperature and then I have like a trigger one that's for soldering like bigger things. So here's the uh, warranty card here. Here's the user manual. Oh, you can download the manual, that's kind of nice. And Q&A. So as the package list, it has, we have a soldering station, the iron stand, power cord, the soldering iron, the brass wire sponge, soldering tips, and solder wire. So here are all the specs. I went over a lot of these already. Okay, so let's check this out. This is the uh, power cord. I think this is the soldering iron, probably the stand. And this is the, that, well, the power spline, this is the soldering iron itself. So here's the supply. So this has plastic on the outside, it has vents on the bottom and the sides. And here's the temperature selector and here's the plug. This feels very heavy. So here we have a three prong power cord. This is the same kind you'd see on a lot of computer power supplies. So here's the stand and it has the brass uh, scrub pad thing in it and that I think you just shove in here okay and here's the soldering iron it has a bunch of different tips in it, it has some like knife tips um, looks like the one that's on here is duplicated this is kind of a small flat head these look kind of like screwdrivers so it looks like this comes off here so this is the ceramic heating element. So this comes off here and this is the tip, goes over this heating element. I'm, I imagine this is very fragile so you would not want to shock it. Okay, so I'll put that in the stand. I'll plug this in, it's keyed so it can only go in one way. Okay. I'll plug this in. There's a switch on the side. I'll turn that on. And we're set to 392 degrees. So I'll start to see this heat up. Check out the solder that comes with it. I'm not an expert on soldering, by the way. So, so we can feed this through the tip. Like so. There we go. And when this is flashing, I think that means it's heating up. So I have some wire prep to try this out. This is some ethernet wire. So I'll just twist that together. I'm gonna put that in my helping hands. Okay, so this is heated up now. First thing I wanna do is tin the tip. And then I wanna clean it here with the brass. Okay, so we have the tip tinned. So now I'll attempt to solder this.
Okay, now I have a little extra solder on here. I want to clean that off. Oops. Then we can take a look at this. There's my solder connection. So I'm not a solder expert. If you have any uh, tips or suggestions, certainly I'm interested in hearing them. You can leave those down in the comments. But I think that's a pretty sturdy uh, job. One thing I like to do is heat the wire up and then melt the solder on the wire, or I'll melt a little bit of solder to help with the conductivity of the um, heat, and then I'll get the wire hot so the solder melts it, and then it seems to stick better than um, you, if you were like drip a bunch of solder on it. That doesn't seem to hold. So uh, this is so this is kind of new territory for me. Um, I like this. Uh, I think this is an, this seems to me like a nice basic soldering iron um, because you, you know you have temperature control, you have the stand, and you have the cleaner. So now I can uh, research solder and what temperatures to use uh, for different solders and different applications and stuff. So this has a nice uh, silicone grip on it. Um, this is like a hard plastic, this is silicone, so it's nice to hold in the hand. This also has a nice sharp tip on it. So I'd like to uh, maybe do some little breadboard work here and there uh, on some Raspberry Pi projects. So I think this is gonna be a handy soldering iron to have. The other one I had, let me go get my other soldering iron. So this is my previous soldering iron. It wasn't quite as sharp and the tip's kind of bent on it, and you just plug this in here. So, and I don't know what temperature this thing operates at. I got it at Radio Shack a long time ago. It says it's 15 watt. So yeah, I think that's a handy little tool. I think this is gonna uh, be a good addition to my workshop. I've never been an electronics expert. I've dabbled in it a little bit, and uh, soldering has not been one of my strong suits. I've soldered a couple boards before, but I never had like a decent soldering iron. So I'm pretty excited to uh, utilize this a little bit more. So stay tuned on my channel. Hopefully I'll have some projects where I use this. Um, I've been getting a lot of like LED light strips in lately and I may do some soldering on some of those. So this will come in handy for that. So if you have any questions about this, please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.